Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Vertex Manoj Roy. We are doing today exercise 1.2, question number 12 only from the sets. This is the representation of a set on the number line, but I have also drawn here a Venn diagram to help out this how we can use the Venn diagram and the number line to represent a set. Before starting uh, like question number 12, I would like to give some like review like what do you mean by where, like number line and how we represent the number line. For example, if I, we have a number, for example, x is greater than equals to 5 and second value is x is like y is only greater than suppose 9. And sometimes uh, we can have the question x is greater than uh, minus 1 and less than equals to 5. And second example, the fourth example, we can consider x is greater than equals to minus 2 and less than equals to uh, 7. So four examples, first of all, how we can draw a number line. In this number line, we have a real values, like all real numbers. Real number means uh, we are talking about all the numbers like under root, cube root, square, decimal, negative, positive. All numbers are the real numbers. So first, x is greater than 5. Be careful. There is greater than 5 and equals to 5. This is only greater than 9. So when you're talking about greater than and equals to 5, greater than and equals to 5, I will draw a little circle and I will fill the circle and I will write greater than means I will write like this. So this is the way this all the numbers greater than 5 including 5. Okay, this is the first part. Okay, we have done this. Now, why is less than, sorry, why is greater than 9? Where is 9? 9 is here. So I will write a circle, I will draw a circle, but I will not fill this and I will write like this, greater than. This means that nine is not included, but of all the values after nine, it can be 9.0001, whatever. But after nine, all the values are included in this part. So uh, now moving to part three, this one. When I want to draw this number line, x is between minus 1 and 5. Minus 1 is here, I will draw a circle. And 5 is here, I will draw a circle. This is equal to means I will fill the circle. This is not equal to, this is only greater than. So I will write this range, this value, my, these values are the result for this part. So this only, when we have only greater than or only less than, we will not shade, we will not fill the circle. Moving to next part, when we are talking about this one, y is greater than equals to minus 2. I will draw a circle minus 2 and I will, because it's equal to, I will fill this. And 7, I will I draw a circle and I will fill this. And I will write, this. these all are the set of this part 4. So this was the like little review of the number line. First of all, this we need a circle or we, we need a circle with shaded part or the fill circle. Okay. All the numbers are real. I'm moving to one example for like, uh, I would like to use the Venn diagram here. If this is A, this is B, and this is universal set, then this area is called A intersection B. This is called A complement intersection B. And this is called A intersection B complement. These areas are fixed. And this is called A intersection com, inter, uh, A complement intersection B complement. Or we also say A union B in the bracket and complement. So these areas are very important because we need to support this number line by using the Venn diagram. Moving to question number 12. This question number 12 is here. You can see. Okay. In question number 12, uh, when we have, first of all, the universal set. Universal set is like real number, but R, we can see the R is having plus sign. The plus means we are talking about only plus value, so we do not need these values. This is the real number, like uh, like rational, uh, real numbers, uh, and uh, the values are, universal sets are, we can write uh, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 
4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, but not 10. But we cannot write like this actually because we also have 9.5, 9.9, 9.999, .9, all values are included except 10. Okay. Moving to part A, A is what? A is X such that X is having the range from 1 to minus 4. So I will write, draw a circle here. I will draw a circle at 1 and I will not fill this because this is only greater than. And this is less than uh, minus 4, like 4. So I will write circle and fill this. And this is the range for set A. This is set A. Please, one more thing, x is greater than 5, x is less than 5, when you have like this, x is greater than 5, but 5 is less than x, it means this sign, this sign is not fixed, this sign depends upon this, how you read, if you read, like suppose, x and y, x is greater than y, but y is less than x, because the open mouth is toward x, so is greater, so it's like, you should know how to read this, okay, this is a, and the b, is like b we have b is from 3 to 6 okay i use a different color 3 to 6 means uh 3 is included i will write 3 is included and 3 but 6 is not included and 6 we have only a circle okay this is b so now we need to know how we can work with represent A intersection B all this on the number line. There is no problem. But one thing, what is A intersection B? I'm going to discuss A intersection B first. So A intersection B is on the number line, which area is common like A and B. We have this area which is common like here and here. So, okay. Now, one thing. We have shaded part here, we have shaded, both circles are shaded. So it means we have the value for A intersection B, A intersection B in such a way that X such that X is from minus, sorry, from 3 to equal to 3 to 4 and we have done, this is part A. Moving to A complement intersection B, second part, I'm talking about next part is a complement intersection B. This is this area. Like this area is here. So you can just see here, you can see here, uh, when you observe this part, the complete, complete this part, you divide into this way, you can see this area is A intersection B and this area is A complement intersection. No, this uh, A is like we, we should know. So A is there, so we write here A intersection B complement. This is a little bit different because B is not here. B is not here, only A and, and this area is A complement intersection B without, without A, without A is not here, without A. So be careful. And when we are talking about complete, this is called A union B. And when we are talking about A in complement intersection B complement this one then this area will be excluded and remember what's the universal set the universal set is from 0 to I'm writing here universal set is from 0 to 10 10 means then uh, this will be a intersection a complement intersection B complement will be this area I will use different this area. This this one double line I'm using, and here double line I'm using. There are two areas. So let's see what we can do, like the answers. Okay, we can get the help from the same part. A intersection B is we have circle circle three to four, like three to four. We have done it. Uh, second part is A complement intersection B. You can see which area is A complement, sorry, this is, okay, yeah, this is not B complement, yeah, it's A complement intersection B. A complement intersection B is this area. And in this area, this is not the shaded circle. So six is not involved, but this is included. So we, we will write from four equals to, 
and this is only less than because this is not shaded circle this is still 6 okay now we are moving to next part is a intersection b complement this is about here a intersection b complement so this is circle and this is shaded circle here so we have 1 till 3 we can write 1 till 3 and i will not write equal to here because this no this is without equal to and this should be equal to because one is one we have only circle and in three we have shaded circle so three is included okay then we have next part is a complement intersection b complement so you can observe here this area this area is this area is this one and this one area is about a complement intersection b complement so what values we have here like remember we start from zero like uh, we can write uh, one and zero and one here we can write zero and one here and one is only equal not like equal to is only less than and and what what we have we have one more thing here uh, from here is only a circle six so i will write six and only this sign and this should be till 10 is here you can see 10 here is also less than so i would write 10 here if you want like we have done it by using a number line this question number 12 so by this way we have done this question number 12 by using the number line so i think so it's easy for you to understand that how we can represent a set on the number line once again i would like to say thanks all the students of the zero semester for writing the message and writing the comments just you are asking the question from me well, uh, like uh, I have also a very busy schedule here. Sometimes I cannot reply, so sorry for that. But once again, I would like to say, please, uh, like, uh, share this video with your friends so that they can understand this number line, how we can represent the set. Thank you so much, and have a nice day.